Hello everyone. In this brief video, I wish to answer a quick question and that is why the beta of the market is 1. The answer to this question can be found in most finance and investment textbooks. Let us review it quickly then. From standard statistics, let us define y as our dependent variable and let us say x is our independent variable. We can then write a simple linear regression line as follows. We can say y is equal to mx plus c plus the error term. So c is our intercept in this case and m is the slope of the line. We could also write this as y is equal to bx plus a plus the error term. By changing the letters, nothing changes. Let us interchange the terms to write y equal to a plus bx plus the error term e. Now this b here is our slope of the line and which we are going to call the beta. So if we want to write the beta for y, we can say that this is going to be equal to, using our standard understanding of statistics, this is going to be equal to the covariance between the two variables y and x divided by the variance of x. Now let us change our context. Let us say Ri is our excess return on a security and let this be our dependent variable. And Rm would be our excess return on the market and this is our independent variable. So the regression line, simple linear regression, would look something like this. Ri would be equal to now for this A here, I'm writing an alpha of I plus for this B here, I'm writing beta of I and this X here becomes RM. And then we have our residual term or the error term. Now this is basically our single index model. All right, so if we want to define beta of i now, we can simply use this format. So beta of i would be the covariance between i and m divided by the variance of m. And if we wish to compute the beta of the market, what are we going to write? We are going to write here on the numerator covariance between m and m divided by the variance of m. We know that covariance between m and m is going to be simply equal to variance of m. So we have variance of m over variance of m which is equal to 1 and therefore the beta of the market is equal to 1. Bye bye. See you later.